We have been living with COVID-19 for almost a year now, and there are still a lot of misconceptions out there. So in today's To Your Wellbeing, we debunk common myths. Cone Health Infection Prevention Medical Director Dr. Cynthia Snyder is joining us. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a misconception, and then you can explain why it is a myth, what is going on there. All right, so the first one, misconception number one is, I've been vaccinated, so I can hang out with family members and friends who I don't live with like I used to. No mask, no social distancing, and I can hug grandma, etc. All right, why is that a myth? So the vaccine is not 100% um, protective. So there's still a risk of getting um, COVID and also transmitting it to somebody that's not immune. So it's still very important until like everyone else gets the vaccine and has immunity to still continue to wear our masks. All right, misconception number two, here we go. When the number of hospitalized patients with COVID-19 decreases, that pretty much means COVID will be over soon and we can all get back to normal. Oh, don't we wish. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think we all wish that our numbers for COVID continues to trend down. I think the reason why that's happening is that everybody is following those three W's. I think people are wearing masks. They are you know, staying away from crowded places. Um, they're staying within their own bubble and um, not going out to too many um, the areas where they might get exposed to COVID. So we want to make sure to keep doing all that we can so that we don't spread more um, cases um, in the community. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to misconception number three. It's okay to only get the first dose of the vaccine. Why is that not true? You know, I think the reason why that's not true, again, it has to do that the vaccine right now is a two dose series. The first dose will get you anywhere from 50 to maybe 70% effectiveness, but that second dose gets you closer to 95% effectiveness. So it's important to do the two doses. Two doses, okay. Misconception number four, and that is, I've had COVID-19, I don't need to get the vaccine or wear a mask. Well, Part of that is, is true. So you do get immunity, you get natural immunity after you've had uh, COVID-19. And um, we know that you probably have enough immunity, at least for, for three months. Um, if, you're, if you are up to, if, like by your age or your, what you do for work, if you're up in line to get the vaccine, I think it is a good idea to still get vaccinated despite having COVID-19 and still, without a doubt, always wear a mask. Okay, so the misconception that just because you had it doesn't mean that you shouldn't wear a mask. Nope, you still got to wear a mask even if you've had COVID. Correct. All right, so misconception number five is I'm going on a trip with friends and family. As long as I test negative before I head out of town, then no one is really at risk. You know, it's that's almost true. You have to actually quarantine for those few weeks before you go on a trip with your friends. And then uh, and then you have some reliability with the testing being negative. Um, again, that test tells you you're negative for that day. You know, we've known plenty of people that were negative before they got together with their families, but they were actually still during their early incubation period and then ended up giving COVID to many family members. Which is why that quarantining before you take that test for those two weeks beforehand kind of helps to ensure that that negative test really is negative. Correct. Okay, so misconception number six, you should wear more than one mask at a time for protection from the new COVID variants. So it comes down to, um, you know, some recent CDC recommendations is that if you are wearing just a one layer mask, that is not sufficient. You need to have at least two layers, possibly three. And um, depending on your mask quality, and if it's well fitting, that should be okay. If you are wearing a one layer mask, then it makes sense to have a second mask on top. Two, possibly three. Well, it's the layers, it really comes down to the fabrics. So many, um, if you look at the masks you purchase, you can probably tell if there's at least two layers. 
And sometimes what I mean by three is that some of those masks are made for like a filter pocket and you can put a filter there and it, technically that would be three layers. Some of the medical surgical masks are actually three ply. Mm -hmm. And so we don't recommend for people to wear surgical, like a couple surgical masks. But if you have like a, uh, like any mask that you can see through, that's probably not sufficient to really block the droplets. Right, that is one layer that is a not sufficient layer. You need other Correct. layers if you have a mask that you can see through. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. All right, so we cleared up a few misconceptions there. Dr. Snyder is going to be with us until 6 o'clock, and she is answering your coronavirus questions. So here's how you get those questions to our expert for today. You text us those questions, 336-379-5775. Remember, this is text only, so please do not call, and we'll be right back.